Today I'm going to be looking at how you can create a swipe file or inspiration board in Notion. Now a swipe file is really a collection of inspirational examples that you can use in your next creative project. So it could be things like brand colors that you like, examples of copywriting or Facebook ads, or it could even be pieces of web design. You keep them all together in one place and then when you're starting your next project, you don't have to start with a blank piece of paper. Now here's my swipe file and this is what we're going to be building today. And on here there are examples of different websites, um, different YouTube thumbnails, just different things that have caught my attention that I've been able to capture here and I might be able to use again in the future. I've also added a categories view so I can just look at things in a certain category. So say I'm interested in designing a new landing page. I can just look at all the swipe files that I've collected on landing pages and they're all in one place. Again, if there's, I'm interested in web design, there's some ideas that I've collected for web design here. So I'm going to start by creating a new page and we'll call this swipe new. Now we're actually going to create a database, a, a gallery database. You might need to click on the more button, but then you click on gallery and then new database. And then I'll just clean this up by removing these cards, clicking on this card and deleting this existing content. Now what we're going to do is add some additional um, properties. Now, first of all, tags, you can add whatever tags make sense for your swipe file. I'll add some here. If you want to uh, change the colors or the spellings, you can click on the three dots and change those. Then I'm gonna add another property which is going to be a text property and call that summary. And that's just a space where we can record why we actually save the, the swipe because you might be coming back in a few months. It's just a little reminder. And I'm going to create another text file with the company name. And then a final property which is going to be the URL. So if we wanted to visit the original URL, we can do that. Now we get to the fun part, which is actually adding content into our swipe file. And there's three different ways that I use this. The first is probably the easiest, which is using the Notion Web Clipper. Now I have a full video on this, which I'll link to in the description. Um, but I use this mainly for text-based articles and, and blog posts. Now here's a blog post that I particularly liked and I like this because it's got a great introduction um, where Kirsten mentions a problem that you might be having which kind of sucks then goes into the problem in more detail expanding on that issue and then finally has a type of rallying call, which is saying, we're not gonna let this problem get us down, heck no. And this could be a type of introduction that you could use for all types of blog posts. So we're gonna save this into our swipe file. And to do that, we just come up to our extension here. Um, I'm using Chrome, but it's available for all different types of browsers. And you can change the title Make sure that it's saving to the correct database where we have our swipe file. And then all we need to do is click on save page. Then we can open it in Notion. And after a moment, it will be saved into here. And there you can see our article. Now all we need to do is add the tags. So in this case, it will be blogging the company and then a summary.
And the nice thing about using the Notion Web Clipper is it automatically pulls in the URL for us. And then that is complete. So let's have a look at how it looks on the front end. And here it is here. What we can do is we can change this image if we wanted to. Um, it takes the first image. So if there was another image that we wanted to have on, the fr on our front card, we'd just move that up to the top. One thing I'll do now is improve the usability of our swipe file. So I'm just going to come to these three dots and then click on gallery. And then here under card size, I'm just gonna change that to large. And it just makes it easier to see our image there. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is come down to properties and then at the moment you can see that the name is shown on the front of the card. I'd like the URL as well. So I'm just gonna click on that I icon and then you have the URL on the front. So if we wanted to click straight through to where this came from, we can do that now from the front of the card. The second method I use for saving to a swipe file is using a snipping tool. And I, I do this because sometimes using the Notion Web Clipper it doesn't always save website design elements exactly as they appear. I'm here on Ali Abdul's site and if I was looking for inspiration for a hero section for a website, this would be a great thing to save. Um, I particularly like this because it's a nice clean design. It is friendly text, but establishes him as an authority. There's a picture of him talking on stage and it mentions he's an ex-doctor. So to snip this, I would come down and use a tool in, uh, which is in Windows. There's two snipping tools on my machine. One is Snip and Sketch. The other is the Snipping tool. Um, you may have one or both on your machine. If you're on a Mac, you can either use keyboard shortcuts or an app like Sketch or Lightshot. I'm going to use Snip and Sketch. And then all you need to do is click on New and then snip out the area that you're interested in. Then I'm gonna click on Control C, Command C on a Mac to copy. And then we'll go back to our Notion board. We click on this page and then Control V to paste it in. And then we can click in our tags. We just take these off because we added them earlier. So take off the login ones. Um, so we're just left with web design. Then we can add this other information here. And a summary. And we can go back to get the URL. And there we've added our second entry to our swipe file. The third method that I use is to use a full page screen grab tool. This is particularly useful for capturing web pages where you would need to scroll down to capture everything on the page. Now I use a tool called Go Full Page. Now this is a Chrome extension, but it is available for other browsers as well. All you need to do is click on the icon and as you can see already it's saved this particular page and then I'm just right clicking I'm going to copy image and then we'll go back to our notion page click on new and I'm just gonna control V to paste it in or command V if you're on a Mac and then we'd need to fill in this information here and then we'll fill in our tag the company, which is James Webmore. Our summary. And I, I liked this because it is a, a colourful landing page. And then the URL. And then if we wanted to reposition any of our images, we just click on reposition here and then we can move that down. 
as white file is already starting to look really good. Um, but what you might find is as you add more content that it starts to get a bit overwhelming. So I'm going to create a new view which is divided by tags. So let's duplicate our existing gallery view. We'll come along here, we'll call this tags. Click on group and we're going to group it by tags. And here you can see our cards which are divided into blogging and web design at, at the moment. And we can toggle these on and off so you can just see what you're actually interested in at any particular moment. So there you have it, a nice simple swipe file produced in Notion. I hope you found that video useful. If you'd like a copy of the Notion template that I used in this video, then you'll find details in the description below. Until next time, keep boosting your output.